recording the session today. I would like to take a moment to share the disclaimer slides. So if you could just take a peek at that really quickly and then we can hop right into our practice tonight. Thank you so much for your patience on that. Welcome everyone, my name is Melissa. And today I'll be guiding you through candlelight yoga. So as we practice candlelight yoga today, if you have some candles and you wanna grab them, set them up around your space, that's great. I love the LED light candles just because they're safe and they're good for the environment and they create a nice kind of ambiance as well. Or you could kind of dim the lights if you'd like to. So a couple different options. And for our practice day, you'll want to have a yoga mat. And I always like to have a yoga blanket and a block. If you have those, that's great. And if not, we'll just kind of work around that. Or if you have, you know, a blanket close by or a pillow close by, you can always take a moment to grab that now. And as we practice together for 45 minutes today, just remember to listen to your body. So if any structures are not working for you, you can always skip them, come on out and modify. So let's get started and seated today. You can come on down to the yoga mat and find a nice comfortable seated position to center in. If it feels comfortable, you can cross your legs, but if your knees are a little cranky, you can always extend your legs out in front of you. And let's take a moment to close the eyes and give yourself some time to center into the practice. So as you settle here, feel your sitting bones grounding down into the mat. Feel that connection through the edges of your feet. And then as you ground into the edges of your feet, as you ground into your sitting bones, begin to lengthen your spine. So we'll feel our core gently engage, let your tailbone tuck, and feel your navel move back and up to the spine a little bit. And then create that long line that flows through your spine. So we'll lengthen the back of the neck, reach and stretch through the crown of the head. And then dropping in and connect to the rise and the fall of your breath. Lengthen your breath as you inhale and lengthen your breath as you exhale. And then maybe encouraging your exhale to be a little bit longer than the inhale. And then as you're breathing here, just feeling the breath gently reacting to, feel your body gently reacting to the breath. Inhale, feel your chest rise and feel your navel rise. And then as you exhale, feel your chest fall and feel your navel fall. And then knowing each time that you breathe, you bring life, you bring oxygen to all of the cells throughout your body. Let's take a moment to gently release the shoulders. So we'll take a deep full breath in, take your shoulders up to the ears, create a nice large circle, and then relax your shoulders as you exhale. Breathe in, take your shoulders up, back and down. And then one more time with your breath, shoulders up, back and down. Great. Let's take a moment to take the chin to the chest. Lengthen the back of the neck. And then letting your head relax back, you can take your gaze right on up to the sky. Take your chin to your chest, gently relax your head. Head floats back, gaze to the sky. And we'll just take a moment to move forward and back.
Great, let's come to a neutral neck here. Bring your right ear to the right shoulder and back to neutral. Realign here, left ear to the left shoulder. Realign and let's go side to side for a moment. We'll just work through a nice little flow for the neck. I know a lot of times the neck holds tension when we are stressed out or even just being at the computer a bit. So let's just move that circulation and get the blood flowing. We'll come to a neutral neck. Let your gaze float off your right shoulder. So we're just gonna give ourselves a little twist here. Back to center, let's realign and lengthen and gaze to the left. And realign, let's go side to side here. Great, let's bring ourselves back to neutral and then creating a circular movement. So imagine that you were running your nose through the numbers on the clock. So maybe find a large circle here, maybe find a smaller circle here to get that nice rotation happening. And then flow in the other direction. Good, let's take ourselves to a neutral neck, walk your hands out in front and we're going to settle forward in a gentle seated fold. And then maybe as you're folding down here, create a little gentle movement. You could gently rock to the right, maybe gently rock to the left. And then gently releasing that one, let's bring ourselves back to neutral. You can walk your hands into your body. Right hand plants down. And we'll create a little bit of a sweeping movement. So let your left hand sweep in front of you. We're gonna take that left hand to the right and then offer a little rotation on the shoulder. So we're going to spin our heart right up to the sky. Left hand's gonna bring you through center. Let's plant that left hand. And then that right hand's gonna sweep across the body. You can release it off towards the left. You can roll open your chest and your heart. And then let's take this one side to side. So just moving in a way that feels good for your body. Just remembering with yoga, there's really no right and no wrong way to move. We always wanna move in a pain-free range. Great, let's take ourselves into a neutral spine. We'll give ourselves a breath here. Come on forward into table. And as you come into table, you may want to grab a blanket to pad your knees. So we'll take our knees, our hips in line. We'll bring our wrists, our shoulders in line and feel the fingers stand nice and wide here. So we want to press down through the index finger and we want to press down through our thumb. Bring your right foot up in between the hands. We'll just take a nice big step forward with that right foot. Begin to bend and straighten your front leg. So as you're moving with the breath here, if you have a knee that's sensitive, grab a blanket and pad your left knee. If the ground is feeling really far away from you, bring your hands up in some blocks for a little bit of support. And we'll just feel this nice rhythmic flow here, just moving with each breath, exhalation, like straight ends, inhalation, knee bends. Let's take a moment to straighten the front leg. We'll fold ourselves over, let your spine relax. Try to relax the back of your head and relax the back of your neck. Bending into your right knee, let's draw those hips forward and down for a moment. We'll come into the upper part of the left knee. That tends to be a little bit softer part of the knee, a little bit fleshier part of the knee. Let's bring ourselves into a tabletop from here. So we'll take that right knee to meet the left knee. Lower your stomach down, lift up through your heart. Tailbone will lower and crown of the head will lower. And then flowing through cat and dog stretch for a moment. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. Lengthen your spine as you exhale. 
As you inhale, let your shoulders relax from your ears. We'll create a little space here between the ears and the shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades moving down your back. And then on the exhale, really rounding your back. So imagine creating space between the shoulder blades. Good, let's take ourselves to a neutral spine. Left foot up in between the hands and begin to bend and straighten your front leg. So just noticing if the stretch feels very similar on this side of your body to the first side of the body that we worked on. So it may feel very similar, may feel very different one side to the next side. This is a great little stretch helping to get into your low back, getting into your hamstrings and calves, and also a nice hip opener as well. Let's take a moment to release. Straighten your front leg, fold yourself over. Notice where you're holding on to tension. And with each exhale, try to let that tension go. Bend into your front knee, hips will come forward and down. Breathe in and breathe out. Coming back onto the center, let's do a little reset back into tabletop. And setting up for dolphin from here. So for dolphin, we will come down onto our elbows. Reach for opposite arms. Hands come out in front. Either fingers interlock, palms touch, or press your hands down into the mat. Curl your toes under. Let's take our sitting bones to the sky for dolphin. Maybe walk your toes into your face to deepen that stretch. And we'll try to create an upside down V shape here with our body. So back the legs lengthen, sitting bones to sky, spine lengthen, back of the head, back of the neck, relaxes and releases. For more of a stretch, walk your feet into your face a little bit more. Breathe in and breathe out. Knees will begin to lower. Let's bring our hips to our heels. We'll come to a child's pose as you exhale. And as you're settling here in child's pose, do a little scan of your body. Notice where you're holding tension. With each exhale, try to let that tension go. Engage your core. Let's bring ourselves forward. Same setup for dolphin. Let's try plank this time. So you'll reach for opposite arms. Hands come out in front. Toes will walk back, toes will curl under, and then holding yourself into a strong plank position. Knees can lower to the mat if you'd like. Feel your tailbone tuck. Feel the navel move back and up to the spine a little bit. And then create that nice long line that flows from your heels to the crown of the head. Neutral gaze with the space between the forearms, lifting from the shoulders, find length and find space. Inhale and exhale. Let's take those knees down. Back to your child's pose with your exhale. Resting pose for a moment. This also helps to open up the shoulders for the practice. Come on forward. Let's do a reset into table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Toes curl under, sitting bones to sky. And shake it up a little bit here in your downward facing dog. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. Let your head relax, yes, and let your head relax, no. As you find stillness here, let's come on forward to plank. We'll try out a high push up pose. And moving into sphinx, lower down to the mat. So we'll do a reverse push up all the way down to the ground. Hands will come out in front. Elbows in line with your shoulders. Let's reach for opposite arms here. Create that nice, strong foundation. Give yourself a breath. Stay here, maybe lifting for low cobra. Hands press down, elbows lift up, elbows wrap in. Arms come straight and for seal. Let's reach and stretch through the crown of the head. Lower down to the mat. Take a nice, deep, full breath. Press back to down dog as you exhale. Toes to the hands, let's come on forward in a fold. And then as you take your fold, shake it out here. 
on one knee, bend the other knee, head relaxes, yes, and head relaxes, no. Hands will seat to the right, find a side stretch here. Ground evenly through both of your feet, so inside and outside of each foot. Take yourself back and through the center. Release your hands to the other side. Reach and stretch from your right waist. Lengthen the side body, arm and fingertips. Take yourself back and through the center, back into a fold. Half lift here, lift and lengthen your spine. Fold yourself down. Let's come on up. We'll rise for mountain pose. Now your hands are your heart space as you exhale. Let's take those hands to the sky. Fingers will interlock. Press your palms up. Full breath here to lengthen. Release your hands to the right as you exhale. Let's try to feel that left hip pressing off to the left and just seeing if that helps guide you a little deeper into the side step. Bring yourself back to center. We'll realign here to lengthen and release to the left. Feel grounded through both of your feet, inside and outside of each foot. We'll bring ourselves back onto the center. Let's release the hands to yoga mudra. Fingers will interlock, palms will touch. Imagine squeezing a pencil between the shoulder blades. Let's fold ourselves down as you exhale, coming into a devotional forward fold. Try to relax the front of your shoulders and just notice if that helps you move a little deeper into the shoulder stretch. Hands can relax to your low back. Hands relax down to the mat. Let's take ourselves to a half lift here. Fold yourself down. Let's rise up. We'll take mountain as you breathe in. Draw your hands at your heart space as you breathe out. Hands can sweep to the sky. We'll pause in mountain for a moment. So hands reach and stretch up. Come into chair pose. Drop your hips back and down. Look down. Make sure that you can see the tips of your toes. We just don't want our knees to be moving too far forward here. Right, so we'll come up and over. We'll try our eagle stretch from here. So you can have your toes on the ground, maybe your legs lifted for a half wrap, and then maybe trying out for that full wrap. Right arm under. So you can reach for opposite shoulders, press the backs of your hands together, maybe arm drop, and maybe the hands will wrap up. Find your drishti. Let's find that one spot to focus your concentration, to focus your awareness. And once you find that spot, not letting the eyes shift at all. Let's take the elbows down to the knees. We'll take eagle into the neck. Let's engage our core. Feel your breath flowing in and feel your breath flowing out. Coming back on through to eagle. Let's keep our arms how they are. We'll try warrior three pose. So right foot can take that float back. Maybe imagine you could balance a block on your low back. So try to even off your hips and your low back. We're gonna come on back to a crescent warrior. So you can unwrap your arms, bring your hands to the sky as you breathe in. Wear your hips and your shoulders forward on this one. So we'll take that right hip forward, right shoulder forward, and then left hip back, and then left shoulder comes back. Hands slow down onto the mat. Let's land in our lunge. Begin to bend and straighten your front leg. So this is similar to that stretch that we worked at with the beginning of practice. So feel free to take the modification to lower your right knee down onto the mat for a little support. Hands can always come onto blocks for a little support as well. Let's Straight in the front leg, fold yourself over, let your spine relax, relax your head and relax your neck. Bend into your left knee, let's take our left hand to the sky, we'll land in a twist, runner's twist. With your in breath, feel your spine lengthen, with your out breath, let your twist deepen. Hand comes down, back to runner's lunge. Float yourself into plank, moving into boat from here. Lower all the way down to the mat. Bring your hands behind your body. Fingers will interlock, palms will touch. Lifting everything from the mat when you're ready. And then as you're lifting from the mat, just feel your body supported by the breath. 
As you inhale, feel yourself lifting up, moving deeper into the back bend. And then with the exhale, feel how your body finds a little bit of softness in the pose. Come on down to the mat. Let's take a full breath here. We'll press back to down dog as you exhale. Toes to the hands. Make your way forward in the fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Let's rise up. Mountain as you inhale. Hands and heart space as you exhale. Let's take that mountain pose. Hands reach and stretch to the sky. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Last leg comes up and over. Left arm under. Let's try eagle on the other side. So imagining if you can create a line that flows through your body. So try to create a line from your toes to your knees, to your elbows, and to your fingertips. Elbows to the knees. We'll take eagle into the neck. Coming on up, we'll rise into that eagle stretch. Keep the arm dropped up. Let's try warrior three pose. And unwrapping the arms, let's land in that crescent warrior. So we'll keep that back leg really active. The crescent warrior, there's a lot of benefits on this pose. This one is really good for opening up your hip flexor and your psoas. We get a nice quad stretch on the left side. And then we just feel that back leg really active, engaged, and energized. Hands can come down. Float yourself to a lunge. Begin to bend and straighten your front leg. Begin to straighten the front leg. Let's fold ourselves over. Runner stretch. Right knee bends. Right hand to the sky. Bring yourself to a twist. And then roll that right shoulder back a little bit. Left shoulder is rolling under slightly. And heart is shining to the sky. Hand comes down. Engage your core. Let's bring ourselves back into plank. High push-up pose. Working with up dog, but we'll hold our up dog. Let's lower it down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, gaze off your right shoulder. So we'll begin to look back to those right toes. Back to center, realign, gaze off your left shoulder. Back to center, let's take a nice full breath here and then press back to a downward facing dog. As you Take your down dog. Let's try a flip dog here. So for flip dog, bring your right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee. Back and open through the hip. Working with flip dog. So begin to take our right foot to the left. You're just going to flip your foot over. Both of your feet are planted. Knees are bent. Hips to the sky. And hand reaches up and overhead. Shifting a little bit on the hands and the feet. Let's come to a three-limbed dog, right leg to the sky. Let's try warrior one from here. So right foot steps forward, left heel will lower. Hands will reach up as you breathe in. Let's try to engage the core here. So we want to feel our tailbone tuck and feel your navel move back and up to the spine a little bit. Let's try out a stretch for our shoulders and our arms. So we're gonna take our right hand down our back and then just let the left hand draw that right arm into the stretch. So a little bit like that. And we are going to relax our shoulders from our ears. So try to create that space between the ears and the shoulders. Hands will sweep to the sky, breathe here. Left hand moves down your back. Right hand draws you into that nice shoulder release. Hands will sweep up, breathe here. Let's open to warrior two as you exhale. And you may just have to readjust your feet a little bit in warrior two pose. So alignment and warrior two. Have 
your front heel lining up with your back arch. Have your back foot straight with the back edge of your yoga mat. Try to feel that your shoulders are over your hips. And then have that nice deep bend in your front knee. Let's try reverse warrior two. You can float your front hand up and back. Back hand can glide down your back leg. Maybe wrap your arm around your low back and reach for the other hip free. Come on through back on through to warrior two pose. Lateral angle, float the arm down. Extended lateral angle, maybe lower your hand down. Try not to collapse into the bottom shoulder here. Create a little lifting and a little bit of lengthening here. For engages, let's take ourselves back on up. Reset to warrior two. We'll straighten our front leg, front hand up, back, reverse triangle stretch. Or engage this. Let's bring ourselves up to neutral. And from here, we are going to try out a pyramid stretch. So for pyramid, left foot will take a hop forward, not all the way to the top of your mat, but just a little bit forward so that we have a shorter distance between your front foot and your back foot. Have your left toes turned up the mat. Just have that right foot point forward. And then take this time here to square your hips and your shoulders forward. Hands to the sky, let's breathe in. Fold yourself down, let's breathe out. And then as you're folding here, maybe just notice where you feel the stretch in your body. Breathe into that. So we call this one pyramid. It's also called intense side stretch pose. So just noticing where you feel the stretch in your body and breathe into it. Right hand to the sky, let's come to a pyramid twist. And then as you're twisting here, let's breathe into our stomach, ribs and chest, and then releasing from your chest, ribs and your stomach. Bringing your weight into your left hand, let's begin to lift the left leg up. This takes us into a revolved, balancing half moon pose. So holding that nice twist. So let's breathe in and out deeply. Coming into standing foot to release. So hands to the earth. Square your hips and your shoulders down. Take your knee into your nose as you exhale. Round and crunch. Send your leg up and back. Exhale round. Up and back. Let's go three more times here. Good. Let's release this one. We're going to float ourselves to runner's lunge. From runner's lunge, find your way into plank. As you come into plank, lower down chaturanga, upward facing dog. Let's try to breathe here. It's that nice low back bend. We'll press back to down dog as you exhale. Let's try out that flip dog on the other side. We'll take our left leg to the sky. Let's bend the knee, we'll stack, we'll open through the hip, and then float that foot over, and we will come into that nice back bend on the other side. Try to feel your hips reaching and stretching to the sky, hips lifting up. Breathe into the opening through the shoulder as well. Pushing on the hands and the feet, let's land back in our three limbs dog. Float that last foot forward. Rise up. Let's bring ourselves into a warrior one pose. And then as you're settling here in warrior one, connect with your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Relax your eyebrows. Relax through your jaw. Let's take our left hand down our back. Right hand can draw you inside shoulder release. Hands to the sky, full breath in. Right hand lowers, left hand draws you into that stretch. And then hands to the sky, let's breathe in deeply here. We're gonna open into warrior two as you exhale. 
So as you set up in warrior two, let's try to feel the hands reach forward and back. Feel the core engage. And ground really firmly into your feet. Press firmly to your front foot, to your back foot. And then almost create the sensation that you can pull your feet in towards one another. Reverse, let's float our front hand up and back. Bring yourself back onto the neutral core engages. Float the arm down, we'll land in lateral angle. Maybe extended lateral angle if you want to bend deeper shoulder stretch and deeper hip opening. Four engages back on true for warrior two. Let's straighten that front leg, front hand up and back, reverse triangle stretch. And then bring yourself to neutral. Let's set up for a pyramid. So right foot will take that hop forward, not all the way to the top of the mat, but a good step forward. Right toes turn up the mat. Hips and shoulders square forward here. Hands to the sky. Let's breathe in and fold yourself down. Breathe out. Laying with the weight in the feet again if you wanted to try to get that deepest stretch possible. If you wanted to draw your right hip forward, doing that, maybe pull your left hip back to even off your hips and your low back. Maybe draw more weight into your left foot, lifting that left hip up, balancing the hips and the low back here. Let's take our right hand and plant it. Left hand to the sky, find pyramid twist. And then as you're twisting here with the in-breath, feel your spine lengthen, out-breath, let your twist deepen. Let's take that right leg to the sky, lifting it up. We'll come into that Revolve, balancing half moon pose. Realign to a standing split pose. So both of the hands on the earth will take the legs to the sky. Bring your knee to your nose. Let's take a crunch here. Send it up and back. Exhale, round. Up and back. Let's go three more times with the breath. Great, let's begin to release and to come out of this one, we're gonna take ourselves into a fold. So you'll just bring your feet at the top of the mat. You can shake out the legs a little bit. Bring yourself to a half lift, fold yourself down, come on up, we'll rise for mountain pose. And hands at your heart space as you exhale. Up to a yogi toe hold. If you'd like, you can always grab onto the wall so you feel a little bit more stable in the pose. We're going to start by taking our right hand. We'll take our index and our thumb and our middle finger. Reach for the big toe on your right foot. And then let's pull that leg in. So if that's not feeling accessible today, you can have your knee and just pull that in a little bit. Option to stay right here. You may want to kick the leg out in front of you. Another option is to kick your right foot off to the right to give yourself a little bit of a hip opener. The left hand can move to the left. Maybe bring your index and your thumb to touch, coming into a mudra. And then we will release that one. Feet a little wider than hips. Let's take arms side to side. We'll find our way into empty coat sleeve. Back on through the neutral. Let's take our left hand for the left foot. Decide if you want to interlock your fingers, pull the knee in, maybe you want to straighten your leg in front of you, and maybe you want to take your left foot off to the left. Maybe right hand to the right. Maybe gaze off the right fingertips. And reset. Let's split our feet back, feet wider than hips, arms side to side, a little bit of a shake down. Good. Let's take ourselves back to neutral. Feet will be right in line with your hips. Let's take our hands to the sky. We'll breathe in here. Forward fold, breathe out. Take yourself to a half lift. Let's bring our hands down for plank. High push up pose. 
As you find plank, lower down chaturanga, upward facing dog, and press back to down dog when you're ready. Coming into pigeon, let's kick the right leg to the sky. Bend the knee, back and open through your hips, and then float your right knee to your right wrist. The lower part of your right leg will be at a little bit of an angle so that your heel is near your hip. And then try to square your hips and your shoulders forward here. Stay up on the hands, maybe drop down to the forearms. Let yourself melt down. And then give yourself a few breaths here. Try to clear the mind of fog. You always have thoughts moving through the mind, thoughts for the past, thoughts for the future. Try to release your thoughts, bring your awareness to your breath, bring your awareness to the present moment. And then remember in the present moment, the only moment where life truly exists. And we'll begin to release. Let's press ourselves back into a down dog as you exhale. And then trying the other side, left leg to the sky. Let's bend, stack, open, left knee to left wrist. Have your lower leg at a bit of an angle so that your heel is near your hip. Stay up on the hands. Maybe you drop down to the forearms. And just let yourself melt and settle here. Try to relax your eyebrows and relax your jaw of tension. And let go of tension through the back of your head and neck. Relax the shoulders, the arms, the hands. Relax the upper, mid, and low back. And then relaxing the legs, relaxing the feet, and tension here. You come out on this side. Let's roll into our left hip, and we'll sweep that right foot forward, and then draw the soles of the feet to touch and come together. So we'll take the insides of the feet together, and then you'll just feel this inner edge roll from one another a little bit. Feel free to prop yourself up if you need to. You can always sit on the edge of a blanket. Let's take a nice deep full breath to lengthen and hold yourself down as you exhale. Top of the hands, let's bring the knees together, legs extend out in front, shake out the legs a little bit here. And let's bring ourselves down onto the back from here. So we'll come down onto our back, reach for your feet, take yourself into a happy baby stretch. Flex your feet, reach through the heels, maybe a little rock side to side, and maybe finding stillness here. Let's take our knees to our chest. You can hug them in. We'll do a gentle rock to the right and a gentle rock to the left. Let's take a moment to bring the soles of the feet to touch. Knees come away from one another and we'll try that seated Baddha Konasana reclining. So we'll come to the Baddha Konasana. And just maybe bringing the hands on your body, maybe one hand to navel, one hand to lower wrist, closing the eyes. 
And just feel yourself gently connecting to the rise and the fall of your breath. Lengthening as you inhale and lengthening as you exhale. Maybe encouraging your exhale to be a little bit longer than the inhale. And then with the help of the hands, let's bring our knees together, take them into the chest, hug them in, gently rock to the right and the left. And then bringing that rocking sensation into circular movement. Circle in the other direction. And then gently release. Let's come into Shavasana. We'll take our resting pose of our practice. So if you'd like, you can relax your legs, relax your arms along the mat. You may want to plant your feet, have your knees bent, and then give yourself this time to relax here. This is a nice time for relaxation to integrate all of the benefits into your mind and into your body. Wow, for your breath to deepen, wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes, gently drawing awareness into your body, into the moment, making your way onto your side. Let's come into a fetal position. So maybe create a little pillow with your lower arm, gently support your head. And feel your body taking the shape of the posture. Bringing yourself up into a comfortable seated position. And as you come into seated, if you'd like to take your hands at the heart space into prayer, doing that. Thanking yourself for practicing yoga for doing something so good for your mind and your body. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. It's great to be here with you. I hope everyone's feeling great. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for joining.